Greetings. I want to show you how easy it can be to calculate the base factor in order to interpret your data. So here I have some imaginary data. Imagine we're interested in how reward might devalue dreams for children. So in this group, labeled reward, the children have been rewarded with money over the period of the intervention, every time they ate their greens. The control group have not been given money. Both groups then come into the lab and are given pieces of greens to eat. They're treated in the same way, there's no reward involved, and we see how many pieces of greenery each child eats. Well, let's just say that, in fact, the intervention had the effect predicted, and that children in the reward group ate less pieces of greenery than the control children. The difference is 3.1, and it's significant. So that's the original study. And now a replication is attempted. Maybe it's an exact replication. Maybe there's some difference. Maybe the rewards, for example, in this case, is not money, but sticky stars that the children are given. Now, in this case, there is no significant difference between the two groups. And in fact, the means go slightly in the wrong direction. That is, the reward group, on average, eats a little bit more than the control group, at least in the sample. And because it goes in the wrong direction, according to the theory, I put a minus sign here, minus 0 0.6. The f is very small, and so let us say that the authors conclude that this non-significant result indicates there's no difference between the groups in this particular, in, under the conditions of study two. Now, that would be a common conclusion to make, that, that non-significance indicates no difference, but of course it's completely invalid. If you want to know if there's evidence for the null hypothesis, in other words, evidence for there being no difference, we have to use Bayes. Now, the many questions we could ask of these data, like, is this difference different from that difference? But I just want to focus on the question of whether there is evidence for no difference in this second study, or whether there's just not much evidence either way. So what we need to do is to calculate the Bayes factor, and that involves first summarizing the data, and also indicating what we would predict on the theory. So first of all, summarizing the data. We need to know the mean difference. Well, that's minus 0 0.6. Minus because it goes in the wrong direction according to the theory that we're testing. Now we need to know the standard error of that difference. We can easily obtain that from this f value here. First, we need to change it to a t value. And a t can be obtained from the f by square rooting it. An f with one degree of freedom can always be turned into a t simply by square rooting it. So we'll take 0 0.09 square rooted, and that's 0.3. So t equals 0 0.3. Having obtained t, we can now find the standard error. The standard error is equal to the sample difference divided by the t which is 0 0.6, that's the magnitude of the difference, divided by 0 0.3, which equals 2. So we can put 2 in here. Now we need to know what are we predicting on the alternative hypothesis. And when you have a rough estimate of the difference you expect, and here, if the reward in this study operates in the same way as the reward in that study, we do have a rough estimate of the size we could expect. The size of effect is about 3.1. So when you have a rough estimate, we can use a half normal. We say no to a uniform. The distribution of the plausibility of different population values given the theory is not uniform. It's a half normal. For a half normal, just always put a zero here and a one here. So when you rough, have a rough idea of the size of the effect, the only thing that's left to specify is this box here, and that's the roughly 
predicted effect size, uh, which in this case is 3.1. Now we click go. The base factor is 0.45. Now a base factor of less than a third indicates evidence for the null hypothesis. More than three evidence for the alternative rather than the null. And in between a third and three indicates the data insensitive. So here the data insensitive and in fact we cannot conclude anything about whether the population difference here is zero or not. We need more data.